I'm having a bad uh, filming thing, take, whatever. I can't even talk here. <laughs> I'm just, my mouth is so dry. It's a bloody hot day, still hot in the UK. Um, I finished all my smash beers, so I'm sticking with the theme of single hop. I've got here, Beanham Homebrew, check out those labels. SARS, single hop ale. <laughs> So, a massive, massive thanks to Mick from Beanham Homebrew, who kindly sent me, and a few others, eight! <laughs> eight beers! He's been so busy, brewing, brewing, brewing. Um, and they are all strong, I'm sure you've heard about this already, so they range from six to nine percent. I've got Christmas beer that I'm gonna put uh, in the cupboard till Christmas. Uh, again, Russian Imperial Stout, again, put that to the back of the cover, got some porters. So, there's quite a few beers there, all the high, the highest, anything over seven maybe. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put to the back of the cover, and I'll, I'll have those later in the year. Um, but for now, I've got here SARS, single ale 6.2, which, you know, in anyone else's book, it's still pretty high. Um, okay, so, recipe, he... Just watched his video actually, so once I finish reviewing this, please I urge you go and watch his brew day video. Uh, his setup is awesome, so cool. If you don't know who Mick is, just just don't even bother continuing watching me, just go and cl click on the link below and watch him. <laughs> uh, check out his brew day. He took the recipe from the Bible, page 120, single hop sars. Um, and he looked at it and thought, 4.7 grams, that's not enough. 4.7 kilos, I mean. So he raised it, didn't he? Raised it to 6. Harder, better, faster, stronger. 235 is, oh, I've got a bag left over. Uh, 500 grams, and let's throw that in. He upped all the hops. So I'm quite looking forward to this, actually. Uh, because I do like that SARS. Hop. I associate it more with Pilsners, um, but it is, a, it is a nice nice bitterness. I really like the, the SARS hop. Um, I don't know if any of you watched last week, uh, me and Red Dog, we tried to do a live uh, beer review of an Amarillo uh, hop, single hop ale from Mick. Um, I don't know if you watched it, Mick. I apologise, we completely messed up that whole thing. <laughs> and it just ended up being a Google Hangout for like, I don't know how many hours, seven or eight hours. Um, so what we said about that beer, I think, yeah, yeah, I remember now. It was an Amarillo single hop and we both could taste toffee, which was really weird because Amarillo is more like an orange citrusy. Um, and looking at the recipe, I think he used it, this one here. Uh, we got pale malt and carrot pills. I reckon you've used carrot malt, I don't know. Don't know. But anyway, maybe this one would be slightly toffee as well. And if it is, I quite like that. Uh, that was really nice, but yeah, it isn't. It didn't taste the same as the Amarillo beer that I made. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so. Oh yeah, I just remember. <laughs> Last week, live, tried to open this, and he, he, I don't know how he does it, he tightens it up so much, and I'm not the first person to comment about this. Uh, Red Dog and Hatless, <laughs> they struggle with mixed uh, caps as well. And last week, it's, it's healed now, but I, I had a little cut there when I was opening it. So, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm going to use this. Let's see if this will work. Ah, oh, it doesn't grip it. Ah, oh, that was rubbish. Shit. <laughs> okay, in that case, I get a towel. You watch it, just come off like butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Not too bad. Nice hiss. Oh, nice cannon smoke as well. It's not gushing on me. I think this is from the kegerator. Um, I've got no light. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to pour it in one of. Uh, yeah, I'll pour it in this glass. Get on with it. <laughs> Okay, so already I can see, I can see the colour, and I think, I think you've bought Caramalt. Malt. <laughs> so, we've got a lovely, orangey, quite a dark tan sort of colour. Um, we do have a, a nice little head. Uh, it's carbonated. There are bubbles. Can you see? Yeah, almost. <laughs> okay, so the aroma. Hmm, that's quite nice actually. Quite sweet. It actually smells like the one last week, I think. Yeah, very sweet, very fruity and sweety and for the taste. So thank you very much, Mick. Cheers. Yeah. It's got that toffiness. So I reckon you've used caramel. I really like that toffiness, but from carapils, you're not really supposed to get so much of it. Carapils is probably more just for the head retention, um, but you can really taste that caramel again. But it is a really lovely sweet flavour. Mmm. That is really good. Yeah, so again, just like the, the one last week, I think that carapils or caramel slightly overpowers it. Um, bitterness. It's quite good, actually. I like it. I'm gonna say it's about 40-ish IBUs. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I can taste a bit of alcohol in there. <laughs> um. But that's my fault because I realized that you uploaded that video on the 22nd. Today is the... Today is the 20th of June. So I'm, well, it's not even a month later. So this beer probably needs another, I don't know, three, four weeks, I reckon, just to get rid of the, the alcohol burningness. However, it is a really cool beer. I really like that toffee. I know that's not, I don't think that's supposed to be there, that toffiness, but I like it. And hey, if you like it, then just keep on doing it. Because <laughs> it is, I don't think it's, what I'm saying is I don't think it's supposed to taste like that, but it's really nice. Really nice. I absolutely love toffee, so you know. Mm. I really like it. Okay, so 
rambled on way too much. Okay, so thank you very much, Mick. Um, yeah, so hang on, bear with. I was almost tempted then to do another beer. I thought maybe I'll make this a double beer. <laughs> but I can't kind of, they're, they're all just so strong and I think they all need time. Um, you know, the nearest one we've got here is uh, <laughs> Imperial IPA, 9%. So I think I'm gonna, as tempting as those beers are, I think I'm gonna leave them all all of them a good like two months at least two months before i i dip back into those okay so thank you very much mick awesome cheers oh everyone go and subscribe and check out his video cool